How's it going everybody? Today I'm doing my first commentary video since nearly a month ago with my Battlefront videos. I've been a little under the weather with the flu and a hell of a persistent cough. I might sound a little off even today because I'm still not completely free of the cough yet. I'm just glad it's not COVID again. Uh, so what do we got going on here? I started to play CSGO again because all these new games suck. Went to casual because unfortunately competitive is completely empty and casual is not, which makes no sense to me because competitive is the better game mode by far. But whatever, here we are. I'm actually able to play again with people and not as many bots, which is still a win. And I ran into this guy, No Name 7, who I haven't seen in about five years on this game. He is the number one casual player on here, or at least I thought he was. The guy started using the P90 and the dualies on me left and right after I started whooping on him a little bit in some later rounds or later matches. I played three or four matches against him. I think he had one good game, but he was mostly killing bots. So I have two and a half matches in this one video. I figured I'd give you guys a little bit more CSGO content in this video since I haven't done a whole lot of content on this game in a hot minute. Which also leads me to say I'm actually impressed with how many people still play this game in casual. Uh, that know who I am and watch my content. The other day I was talking shit in a lobby to some people that were team stacking against me on here. And just out of the blue, I had a random guy uh, start talking to me about how he was glad to see me still playing this game and he loved watching my CSGO videos and so on. It actually caught me off guard. I thought, I thought he was trolling me at first because I was shit talking like back in the good old days just reminiscing so that was awesome I'm glad this game still has some decent people on here and people that keep up with me still for this game I really just wish you guys would play competitive more man I'm getting sick of playing casual already never really put that many hours into this game mode unlike with the other game modes I think I played less than 200 rounds total ever of casual prior to the past month or so on here but it really is the only way to get player matches going now unfortunately my assessment on this game with the player count in a video from a couple years ago really was spot on for the future of this game and it has dropped even below my estimates for the total player count in the other game modes I just really wish we could get full matches going uh, on here in competitive again that was where all the fun was maybe at some point I'll run some Xbox group posts for this game so be sure to look for those if you still play this game all we need to get is nine other players together that preferably speak English so anyway the last thing I wanted to mention before I let you guys go just a random thing I, I, I gotta talk about real quick because I, I was really thinking about this when Powerball was up to two billion dollars and I went and wasted 60 bucks on that a couple weeks ago and and I was thinking what I would spend some of that money on you know besides the generic dream stuff like three four houses 20 cars buying an island donating to the church paying off my parents home and stuff like that but I was thinking to myself all my money is gonna be gone if I win this because I would literally make an offer so big to Gabe or to Valve to try and pry the console rights away from them for console CSGO and CS 1.6 because those were the only two CS games that ever made it to console and I would fully remaster both games I mean imagine having just updated graphics on CSGO on the Xbox Series X or Xbox One how beautiful that would look on a map like Aztec if it was all redone I would keep the original version of CSGO the same but I would ban the P90 in competitive and just make it something spectacular even if nobody would pay for it I would just do it to do it you know along with remastering this and 1.6 I would make an offer just to pry away the first 10 Call of Duty games from 
well, it was Activision, now it's Microsoft that owns Call of Duty. And I would remaster MW2's multiplayer and some of the other Call of Duty games if I had one Powerball. And I would buy and remaster all the Battlefront games and change some of that shit up. But sadly, that didn't happen for me. No remastered games, no island, no nothing. Maybe next year Powerball or Mega Millions will be back up again and we'll go for the dream again, right? I'd love to see that shit happen, man. We would shake up the gaming industry and fire everybody. Anyways, one can dream. Enjoy the rest of the gameplay. I'll catch you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. my friends.
detonating the bomb. Bomb has been planted. I'll throw the flashback. 